Hey there, history buffs. Have you ever wondered about the differences between early humans and Cro-Magnon people? Today, I'm diving into the fascinating world of our ancient ancestors to compare these two remarkable groups. First up, early humans. We're talking about species like Homo habilis and Homo erectus, who emerged roughly 2.8 million years ago. These guys were the pioneers of evolution, developing larger brains, walking on two legs, and making the first stone tools. Homo habilis, known as the handyman, was a real trailblazer in the art of tool making. Then came Homo erectus, with more advanced tools and control of fire. Imagine roasting your first marshmallow. Now that's progress. Now let's fast forward to around 40,000 years ago when Cro-Magnon people stepped onto the scene in Europe. Anatomically, they were just like us. High foreheads, rounded skulls, and less pronounced brow ridges. Essentially, they were modern humans ready to take on the Ice Age. What set Cro-Magnon apart was their technological leap. They crafted an array of sophisticated tools from bone, antler, and stone. We're talking about blades, scrapers, and even needles. These tools weren't just for survival. They allowed them to create art and clothing, showcasing their creative genius. Culturally, early humans had basic social structures and cooperative hunting, but their symbolic behavior was pretty limited. Cro-Magnon people, however, were the Picasso of the prehistoric world. Their cave paintings in places like Lascaux and Chauvet are legendary, depicting animals and human activities with intricate detail. They even buried their dead with grave goods, hinting at complex beliefs about life and death. When it comes to adaptation, early humans like Homo erectus were champs at surviving diverse environments thanks to their tools, fire mastery, and basic shelters. But Cro-Magnon folks took adaptability to the next level. They braved Ice Age Europe with advanced tools, tailored clothing, and sturdy shelters. Their art and rituals likely helped keep their communities strong and resilient. So, in a nutshell, early humans laid the foundation for tool use and social cooperation. But Cro-Magnon epitomized the height of prehistoric human development with their sophisticated technology, art, and social structures. This journey from primitive beginnings to the dawn of modern civilization is truly awe-inspiring. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into history.